Here's another tip from my series of things I wish I knew sooner before playing Remnant 2. This video is intended for newcomers to the series or those who played the first game but played it casually or didn't complete it. If you're a hardcore Remnant from the Ashes player, you probably won't learn anything new here. In this video, I'm going to focus exclusively on mods, how to get them and how to use them. The first mod you get early in the game is by crafting it at this vendor on Ward 13. So as you can see, in order to craft mods, you need uh, some currency. In this case, the material is Root Ganglia, which I don't have. Uh, I had one item earlier in the game, and I used it to craft a mod. I picked up Hotshot and that mod was placed on my SMG. You can see that that hot shot does uh, fire damage. So let's go to the gun range and see how this works. Think of the mod as a special ability that your weapon has, but you have to charge it. So if you look at the bottom right corner of the screen, you can see an icon beside my weapon. Uh, that is the mod for uh, the hotshot mod that's on my SMG. Uh, but uh, also uh, notice there's a circle around that mod. Think of that circle as a meter. As you attack with that weapon, it fills up the meter. When the meter is full, the weapon mod becomes available and then you can activate the mod. In my case, on Xbox, to activate the mod, I use the right bumper. So my meter is full. I can activate this mod now. Uh, I'll use the same target so you can compare the damage. Now the mod is active. So I can take advantage of its special ability. In my case, incendiary ammo. Uh, notice how the circular meter is now depleting. Once the meter is empty, the cycle restarts and you can start filling up the meter by doing damage in regular fire mode. That's all for this tip. See you in the next video.